Hey guys, I'm Trace Sterling. Welcome back to my channel. I look absolutely crazy right now, but it is currently 9.21 p.m. on a Saturday night, and all I want to do right now is film a little makeup tutorial, so that's what I'm going to do. I don't even think you could call this a tutorial because honestly, I have this idea in my mind of like what I want to do and how I want to execute it, but um, I'm just sort of playing around with makeup and recording it for you guys. I'm just at my vanity right now. You guys seem to like this setup sometimes because it's way more authentic and genuine. Um, I just have the Alabama FSU game on right here because <laughs> roll tide forever, even though I don't go there anymore, roll tide. But um, yeah, let's just get started. I feel really dry, so I'm just gonna douse my face real quick and a little bit of Fix Plus, and I'm like running low on it. <laughs> so yesterday I was watching the Shea Mitchell makeup tutorial, and she put on her concealer first, and I was like, I remember when beauty gurus used to do that all the time, so I'm gonna try it next time I do my makeup, and that's right now, so I'm gonna try it. This is Tarte Shape Tape. Let's try that, and I didn't even prime my face. And I have nowhere to go, and right after this, I'm just taking off all this makeup, so. May as well just cake it on, right? Then I'm gonna go with the Makeup Forever HD Foundation Stick. I'm gonna use a foundation brush because I don't wanna like smear this on because I just put concealer on. That's why I never really understood the whole concealer before foundation thing because I feel like you're just gonna wipe away all your makeup. And then I'm gonna go in with the Clinique Beyond Perfecting Foundation. This is in the shade four. And this I'm just gonna plop around the perimeter of my face. I never really use this foundation. Don't know if I'm putting on too much. I'm gonna warm up my face a little bit. This is the Pro Conceal by LA Girl in the shade Fawn. Even though I might still look like an orange hot mess. Again, not going anywhere. All right, so I've never used this before, so let's use it today. This is the Smashbox Photo Op Under Eye Brightener. I'm gonna make like a little potion. Then I'm gonna go in with the, what is this? YSL Touche Clay. This one has a little bit of like shimmer and sparkles in it. So I'm gonna put this right here on the tops of my cheekbones. I'm just gonna take a little bit of my NARS Creamy Concealer in Vanilla. Put that right over top of the Smashbox guys, because I can already tell that I don't really like how that turned out. My eyebrows are so laid right now. Like they are just so Wow. Wiping away my bake. I always feel like every time I wipe away my bake, I just literally have to go back in with like a regular toned powder and blend everything together because I'm just too highlighted. Wow. This is like a snatched face if I ever saw one. Not to be self-conceited or anything, but the game, by the way, it's at halftime. So now I'm just watching some Kenzie Elizabeth vlogs with like my setting powder that matches my face and just sort of go over everything. That was literally just my base and that took me like half an hour. Let's warm the mug up. So this, I'm gonna use a few different bronzers. Ooh, I forgot about this one. All right, so first, Too Faced Chocolate Soleil. And this is gonna be more of like my contour. Warm my face back up. I'm not dead vibes. Like bronzer just makes such a difference. Like look at the difference between my face. I'm in a great mood right now. Now I'm just gonna add, this is like Bobbi Brown, Bobbi Brown Beach Shimmer Powder. Um, this would be a beautiful highlight for like deep dark tones. Oh my God, it'd be absolutely gorgeous. But I'm just gonna put this a little bit right here on my temples. Last time I used this was last summer in Jamaica and it really is just so beautiful and just brings out like this gorgeous sheen. Let's move on to the eyes. Now the eyes, I really, I'm just gonna wing it. I think the only two palettes that I'm gonna need are my Violet Voss Pro eyeshadow palette, like the Holy Grail one, and then my Morphe 350. I do have a vision in mind. So I'm gonna go in 
to my Morphe palette and I'm going to take this shade right here. This is going to go into my crease. So what I'm envisioning in my mind right now, it could turn out to be an absolute hot mess or it could be really, really bomb. I'm a little nervous about the hot mess, but I mean, even if it is a hot mess, I'm still having fun. Then I'm going to take a... Uh, that's so not clean. MAC 217 and I'm going to take this shade right here and this is going to go right here in the deeper hollow of my crease and then I'm going to bring it down onto the lid a little bit. What I'm envisioning is like this halo eye. So on my lid I'm going to mix um, this shade red ochre from the Modern Renaissance palette with the color that I just used and Put them right here on this outer corner and bring that up into the crease and blend that out. I don't think I want to halo it because my eyes always look super weird when they're like when there's a dark right here. So I'm not going to halo it. I'm going to do like a little gold ombre, I think. I want to go in black. So this is my NYX black that I always use. It's in Raven. And this is going to go right on this outer corner right there. Just a little bit. You can always blend back out. You can always add more. It's harder to take away. I'm just going to sweep it down right here onto this outer V. So I'm going to wet this flat shader brush. I'm going to go in with the shade Toffee from the Holy Grail palette. It's this one right here. Then I'm also going to go in with this shade from Carly Bible's highlighting palette. And this is going to be on like the inner third. And then I'm going to go in with Primavera from my Modern Renaissance palette and go right on the inner corner and throw that right there. I'm not using this to like cut my crease or anything. I'm just placing the color down. There we go. Let's do the brows underneath the brows right now. Um, I'm just going to take that gold shade mixed with a little bit of the mirror from the Modern Renaissance palette. That just goes right underneath the high point. Sauced to perfection. All right, now it's time to venture onto my lower lash line, which I do have quite the vision for. First, I'm going to take the transition shade that we used in the crease initially, um, just on a fluffy brush, and I'm just going to throw that underneath my eye just to have a little bit of um, transition shades under there. Then I'm going to go in just with the same black that I've been using from NYX. And I only plan on smoking this out like right under this outer corner right here. I really want to just give my eye a very smoky almond shape. And I'm going to take the, um, I'm going to mix the two golds, the toffee and the Carly Bible gold. And then I'm placing it right well, definitely right here. It's not as like gold and powerful as I wanted it to be. Like I really wanted it to be like a gold. For gold glitter liner underneath my eye, I'm using the NYX Crystal Gold in, oh, liquid crystal liner, liner in the shade Crystal Gold. So that's a little more what I want. All right, so I couldn't really find like the right gold, I mean the right like brick red color that I wanted for the waterline so I'm just gonna mix two and hope that they look okay so this is a pink and then this is like a purpley brown I don't really do anything it's like not the right color red ochre from the modern renaissance palette and just go over that make it a little more yeah, that's more like it. Oh my god, touchdown. Yay. I'm going to put lashes on, which honestly I have not done in months. Mm -hmm. uh, highlighter, Gilded Honey, Gold Vibes for Days. I'm going to use this Bobbi Brown in the shade Sand Pink. I'm just going to start it back here and just work it a little bit onto my apples. Lips, I think sore is a really good option. I feel kind of bizarre right now because sweatshirt hair. I'm going to do my hair, probably throw on a different shirt, and then I'll be back 
for the outro. Thank you guys so much for watching. See what a glow up that is when you get out of a sweatshirt. So if you guys all enjoyed this video, if you do, be sure to give it a thumbs up. Subscribe before you go. If you guys wanna watch my last video, that's right there. Love you guys so much. Have a fantastic rest of your day. Bye.